Hi, I'm Matthew Sauer with Canadian Energy, and today we're going to run through uh, how to parallel batteries together. Now, why would you want to parallel batteries together? Well, that's to increase capacity. Uh, think, about, uh, think about it as a gas tank. You want to have more mileage on your car, you need a bigger gas tank. It's the same thing with uh, batteries and energy storage. If you want your applications to run longer, uh, you need more battery capacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these 12 volt 80 amp hour batteries and parallel them together to get 12 volts 320 amps. Now what you're going to want to do, again, think of train tracks, you're going to want to run down the tracks. So positive to positive, positive to positive, and so forth. And negative to negative, negative to negative. So we're going to take our batteries and parallel them together. Nice and neat. Uh, at any Canadian Energy location across Canada, uh, they will have pre-cut cables uh, already built. Give your branch a call, go to the website and check the contact page out to find your, your nearest branch. Um, and then they have different, uh, different sizes. Once your parallel connections are complete, you're gonna wanna put your charge leads and your leads going to your inverter on separate terminals. So again, main positive and main negative. The main reason we do this is to have proper balance in all, in all the batteries. If you were to put your main leads onto one, you would uh, either discharge or charge this battery far quicker than you would this battery. And all that's gonna cause is, is, is the battery that has all the terminals, uh, all the main lead terminals on it to uh, end of life sooner than, than the, the battery at the end of the chain. So if you use a main positive and a main negative, uh, you have a nice homogenized use uh, of capacity across your entire battery string. For more information on parallel connection, go to cdnrg.com or contact your local branch.